Aloha, aloha, aloha. My name is Master Paul, and I am honored to be with you here today from this live stream coming at you from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm going to loosen up my shirt here just a little bit. There we go. A little bit better. <laughs> so welcome. Today is October 13, 2016, and today is a really special day. It is the first day we'll, we will be going into the subject of soul language. Uh, it's association with opening your spiritual channels. And uh, the power and significance of opening and revealing the soul language, what it is, how do we open it and reveal it? Once we do, how can it be used? What can it be used for? So we're going to be discussing that today. It's going to be a very, very powerful day. So uh, welcome Marina, welcome Elizabeth, welcome, welcome uh, Tahuana, great to see you, aloha. And so as more people are joining and as, as the system acknowledges more people coming in, we'll also do some more preparation. Finally starting to get used to the new location I'm in. Um, hopefully the signal is strong today, I apologize if it's a little fuzzy, do the best we can. And welcome Pamela Carmo, welcome Monica, welcome Shari, and Chelsea has joined us as well. So I'm getting some very positive feedback regarding this last week in which <coughs> I focused on the five major energy centers. And the five major energy centers are the Lower Dan Tian, the Zhu Chao, the Third Eye, the Message Center, and the Kundalini area. And we spent time on each one of these major energy centers so that people had an understanding of the association with them and the, the importance of boosting the power to each of these five major centers. So that when we do, we have the ability to assist us in receiving clear messages and clearing blockages that are associated with the spiritual channels. So it's a very... Uh, uh, important that if you haven't heard those to go back to watch those go back to uh, my Facebook page where you're at now and under the the main caption it says about and you scroll down to the caption called videos and you can see the past ones in there so I do encourage that uh, to have a deeper base of where we're headed with this series <clears throat> so we also have some uh, other folks jump jumping in here I see Eleanor has joined us welcome Eleanor welcome Nicole and Sarah MacArthur good evening uh, and then Ben. First time I've seen you, Ben. Welcome. And Kristen Strachan has joined us. I'm not sure if Kristen Rojas has jumped in there. She's usually in here at this time. And then also I see uh, Pat's family members, Bissadoin, Bissadoyai from uh, the Caribbean has joined us. Welcome. Hope I said the name right, Bissundai. Uh, so today, we're going to go ahead and move straight into revealing soul language, but we have to connect heart to heart, soul to soul first. So placing your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is much like a prayer. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Let us connect. We're going to call in all the holy beings, divine Tao and source. Dear divine, dear Tao, dear source, original creator. We love you, Ani, respect you. We ask you to please be with us here today to bless us, to fully connect to our soul, to open and reveal our soul language. Dear all beings of the light side, the soul of all light side, planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, the soul of all masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, and archangels. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We ask you, as appropriate, to please come to each of those that are watching the live stream at this time, each of those that watch us in the future. Bless us all, individually and collectively, to open our spiritual channels more. Bless us all to reveal our soul language. Dear the soul of our heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Could you please be with us at this time? We are deeply honored that you have chosen us to guide in this lifetime, and we will continue to open our spiritual channels that we can hear your guidance, love, and messages. Dear the source soul song of love, <coughs> peace, and harmony, 
transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, we honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to please turn on and we ask all souls and all universes to chant love, peace, and harmony with us to serve unconditionally. If you are new, please close your eyes, receive the blessings. If you are familiar with the song, please continue to, to chant to offer this service. Let us begin. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula 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 Li 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 Lula O I Tran Ran Wang Li Hing Rung Her Mu Shu Shang Song I Ping On Her Shay Song I Ping On Her Shay I Love My Heart and Soul I Love All Humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. How is a Mandarin Chinese word that means complete, perfect? So we say it three times because it just sounds good and Master Shah says it that way. Um, we say thank you three times. The first thank you is to Creator, Divine. The second thank you is to all the holy beings who have come to join us today to assist us with our soul journey. The third thank you is to our own soul. Wonderful, great for sharing. Thank you, Deborah. So welcome Rob Rett, welcome Deborah, welcome Kathy Campbell and Sarah Lance. Uh, welcome Ari. Great to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. Please, everybody, hit the share button. Let other people know about today that there is an opportunity to open their soul language. That is what we'll be focusing on today. And uh, this whole week has been about opening our five major energy centers. We're going to start <clears throat> by doing some message center uh, practices to open our message center more. And the main reason why is because this center is associated with each of the four major spiritual channels. There are four major channels, the soul language channel, the soul language translation channel, the third eye channel, and the divine direct knowing channel. Each of these I'll be going over the course of this week and next week. And today, and they're, they're revealed in this, this way for a reason. The soul language is literally, uh, I'll read something directly out of Master Shah's book so you can understand better the nature of the soul language, but it has a, a direct association with opening our channel so that we can hear heaven clearly. We want to hear heaven clearly before we open our third eye so that we can receive messages. I was just speaking with a student before this uh, uh, live stream, and they said uh, that they, they do actually see very graphic images um, of people's bodies, like, like an x-ray, but in color, and that they weren't quite sure what to do with that. And I gave them some additional insights that um, abilities of that nature do not just pop in in this lifetime. This person was a seer in previous times. They had these abilities. And that is probably true for almost everyone. If you're a light worker, if you're here on this page watching this, on some level you've done all this before. So it's a lot of this is a matter of remembering. And so we're going to move towards that. So um, also acknowledgement and welcome to Marina, to Angie Taylor, and uh, to uh, Ilona. And Janet has joined us as well. So I'm going to read from uh, this book here, which is the Tao Soul Song Soul Dance book. Highly recommend it. It's probably one of the best books in relationship to open up our energy body. Um, it's, it's the equivalent of, um, oh, I would say, it's high school to college level. How do you open all your spiritual channels? How do you clear your energy body? Understanding of what I'm about to teach you today. And uh, it's a good full comprehension book of the teachings and wisdoms that Master Shah has brought to humanity all in one location. Dao Song, Dao Dance. It is exceedingly powerful, this book and the wisdom that's in it. So I'm on page uh, eight, actually, which the first, uh, oh, 
40 or 50 pages are all introductory. So on page 8, Master Shah speaks of the power and significance of bringing out your soul language. So I'm going to read this to you, starting with the caption, What is Soul Language? Welcome, Sarah. Welcome, Johannes. <clears throat> um, there are several, I'm reading from page right now, there are, there are thousands of languages on Mother Earth. Thousands. There is only one soul language. Soul language is the voice of the language of the soul. Although everyone's soul language sounds different, all soul language, all souls, all souls understand soul language. All souls communicate through soul language. A human being consists of soul, mind, and body. Soul is spirit. Mind is consciousness. And body includes systems, organs, tissues, energy, and matter, cells, etc. Everyone speaks or his or her native language. We learn and speak our native language through our minds, which is consciousness. As we grow up, we go to school, many of us start to study a second language to learn and speak. Any language is to use the mind. A physical human being does not usually speak uh, language. A newborn baby, however, speaks soul language. The baby makes all kinds of sounds, ba ba, woo woo, ya ya, da ha ha. We call baby talk, but these sounds are actually the baby's soul voice and soul language. They carry meaning. They can be translated. This is very important. They can be translated to human language and understood. So when an infant starts to speak a human language, the baby's soul language actually stops. Significance, benefits, and power of soul language. The soul language carries frequency and soul vibration, which can transform the frequency and vibration of your systems, organs, cells, and tissues. Soul language carries your soul's, your soul's love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Soul language has the great significance and power, including the following bullet points. The soul language channel is a major spiritual channel that allows one to communicate with the soul world. Soul language carries soul love, which melts all blockages and transforms all life. Soul language carries soul forgiveness, which brings inner peace and inner joy. And soul language carries soul compassion, which boosts energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Soul language is a soul treasure for self-healing your spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical bodies. Soul language is a soul treasure for boosting your energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Soul language is a soul treasure for rejuvenation of your soul, heart, mind, and body. And finally, soul language is a soul treasure for advancing your Tao journey. And the final destination is to reach immortality. Huh. Final destination is to reach immortality. You got a ways to go. So now I will share with you how to accomplish this. Now I want to share, share with you first the, um, the mantra. So, soul language is something that every human being has. I will offer you first a blessing with my soul language and my soul song. So, sit up straight, prepare to receive a blessing. Your soul language can bless others as well. Mine carries a higher frequency because of all the transmissions I've received, uh, but this blessing will definitely be significant. I ask you, encourage you to choose something that is uncomfortable, something where you have any discomfort, so you can measure the power and significance of soul language to bring healing, okay? Measure it. Is it an eight? Is it a two? Is it slightly discomfortable? Whatever it might be, try to find something that's present and measurable, all right? Dear my soul language and my soul song, I love you, honor you, and deeply appreciate you. Can you please turn on? As I chant my soul language, as I chant my soul song, please offer everybody that is watching live stream and this video later a blessing for their request. Make your request to heaven right now. Keep a record of your suffering level, whatever it might be. Could be a low level number. That's okay. We're going to see if there's a difference in a few minutes.
And now I will move into soul song. Keep visualizing golden light in your area of request. Thank you, thank you. So that was about a two-minute blessing, maybe three minutes, not too long. I'm not expecting miracles, but my guess is there will be uh, at least two to three people that have had a noticeable difference in whatever uh, form of suffering that they checked in with. So please uh, make a comment while I continue with the wisdom and teachings. So soul language uh, is different for everybody, literally very, very different for everybody. And so some like mine mine came out as sounds very much like a child, like a baby. Uh, some people's come out da 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 da. Some people's it might trust me when I say people's soul language, it can be a little bit uncomfortable and odd, and it definitely gets the mind involved because the mind says, "This is weird. I don't know what to think about this." Soul language. Um, goes through transformation over time. This class, Soul Language, can take an entire weekend. Uh, opening your spiritual channels, usually they only do two of the four major channels when they do a weekend. And the weekend is, is, is typically anywhere between 20 and 30 hours of training. So I'm trying to cover something that is, is usually not covered uh, without a lot of time. But I'm not expecting a significant shift. This is a foundational wisdom. The more you learn, the more you want to learn. Your soul will, will, will guide you. Your soul will say, wow, this is amazing. You will then go about picking up a Master Shah book. You will then go to a, um, to a live stream event that either I offer or one of the other divine channels around the globe offer. These are very uh, special opportunities in this time in humanity to receive these kinds of blessings. So... Um, <clears throat> Uh, welcome to show, Deepal. I could feel something cool in my abdomen, Mary. It was cooling, so I'm guessing that that's where you requested. Taiwana says pain decreased in her wrist. Wonderful. Thank you to my soul language. Angie says her heel is really sore today. We'll see what that happened for her. Uh, Marina says her headache got a little better. Um, uh, today is something special, Johannes says. Wonderful. And um, she says I can put more pressure on her heel. Before it hurt quite a bit when she put pressure on her heel. So, is my soul language special? No. 
everybody's soul language has the ability to bring healing to another. Why? Because it's not you and your physical body and your mind and your voice doing the work. It's your soul's frequency, love, vibration. How is it that one person has flashes of third eye? Did they all of a sudden turn on and it never had it before? No, of course not. They had third eye in previous lifetimes. It's returning. All of these abilities for you are returning. And so you definitely have high healing abilities, whether you know it or not. And when you reveal your soul language, you can use your soul language to bring blessings to your children, yourself, your loved ones. You can bless your finances, everything. So it's very, very powerful. Um, Kristen Strachan responds, when her soul language first came out, that it was so loud it really scared her. Things have settled down a bit, yeah. So how do we reveal our soul language? We use a sacred mantra. Little backstory. Uh, Dr. Master Shah, who all these teachings are from, drsha.com to learn more. Um, he learned it from his teacher. And when he was accepted as a disciple from his teacher, uh, which was about probably 40 years ago, his teacher sent him a, 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 a note, a little letter. And it said, Jigong Sha, three things. Always love your mother. Always love your country. And to, to connect with me, chant 3396815. He said it in Mandarin Chinese, which was 96, uh, excuse me, 3396815, which is San San Jolu Baya Wu. He said to connect with me. He didn't say call me, he said to connect with me. San San Jolie Baya Wu. The Master Shah, he's reading this, he says, what is this? Phone number 3396815? I guess this must mean his phone number to connect with him. It was actually a mantra that had been used, has been used for, for many, many years. His teacher, Master Guo, received it in a deep meditation one day. Uh, Master Guo has been in touch with the divine since the age of nine. And uh, so he stays up literally all night um, just receiving messages. Uh, I don't know. If he ever slept. But anyway, one night he received this code, 3396815. He understood that it was a special code. He didn't know what it was for at that time. And so he woke up one of his five daughters, who was a special daughter who also had deep connection with the divine. And he said, Go into meditation, tell me what number you get. Gave her no other clues whatsoever. The daughter then came to him later that day and said, I got San San Jolie Bai Awu, 3396815. So that's when Master Guo knew that it was an authentic message from the divine and he knew that when he um, chanted with it because he asked what do I do with it he, and he was told to chant with it that it was a healing a healing mantra so uh, the signal will clear up in a minute uh, Eleanor Linwood said her left foot pain is gone Gone! This is amazing. San San Jolio Bayawu. All I did was I chanted a soul language, which I'm going to do my best to teach you to reveal yours today. And there's about five or six people who have commented about their discomforts uh, reducing. This is pretty amazing. So welcome everybody new. Um, Sherry says ankle feels better. Thank you, Divine. Thank you to my soul language. San San Jolu Bao Wu vibrates different parts of the body. Everybody put their hands where you're at. Put your hands on your chest. Repeat after me. San, 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 San is a Mandarin Chinese word for three. Three, three, nine, six, eight, one, five. San, San. Next one is Jo, Jo. How many times have you heard me this week saying Jo, 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 Jo? Whenever your hands were on your lower abdomen, I had you visualize down there, what was I teaching you? Jo, Jo, Jo. That's the number nine. It carries a vibrational sound that's associated with the lower part of the body. San, San, Jo. Repeat. San, San, Jo. Touch your body. Uh, chest, chest, lower abdomen. San, San, Jo. San, San, Jo. San, San, Jo. San, San, Jo. So I'm doing this so you have uh, kinesthetic, touching, hearing, uh, all, the, all the activities so it's easier to remember. You won't actually be doing this when you get ready to open your soul language. Okay, San San Jo Lu. San San Jo Lu. Lu is, stimulates the ribs. So touch your ribs on both sides. San San Jo Ribs. 
chest, chest, lower abdomen, ribs. San San Jo Lu. Ba. Ba is the number eight. It stimulates the navel, your belly button. So chest, chest, lower abdomen, ribs, belly button. Notice what's happening with the movement. Zzz, zzz, down, wide, back to the middle. So imagine energy going dunk, dunk, down. Dunk, dunk, down, wide, back to the middle. Dunk, dunk, down, wide, back to the middle. Dunk, dunk, down, wide, back to the middle. When you chant this, that's what's literally happening in your energy body is this mantra that Master Guo, who is Master Sha's spiritual father, received from heaven is literally clearing the blockages in your spiritual body. It's clearing your spiritual channels. That's why it's called a sacred code and a sacred mantra. But most people, they hear, oh, what is a sacred code or what is a sacred mantra? They don't have the wisdom that goes with it. The beautiful thing about Master Guo and Master Sha is they teach you the wisdom that goes with it. The sound power, what it's actually vibrating, what it's actually doing. The next number is uh, Wu, um, Yao Wu. San San Jiu Liu, Yao Wu. San San Jiu Liu Ba Yao Wu. Yao stimulates the head, the upper part of the body. Yesterday, when we did the Zhu Chao practice for your intelligence center, what did we chant? Yi, 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 yi. So, yo or yao is similar in its vibrational function in this mantra. Okay, it's for the upper part of the body. So, now we see the energy going zzz, zzz, down to the ribs wide, back to the navel, back up to the head. And then the final number is wu, which stimulates the stomach area. So, the number you should write down three three nine six eight one five. If one of the universal servants wants to type in San San Jo Liu Bai Yao Wu into the the chat, I would appreciate it. And they'll have those words to look at. But we chant Mandarin Chinese. We don't chant English, which is three three nine six eight one five, because it doesn't carry the sound vibration that this mantra was brought from heaven to humanity with. So when we chant San San Jo Liu Bai Yao Wu, three three nine six eight one five, we're literally zzz 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 zzz. We're we're vibrating the body. Okay, so we're going to just chant it for a little while before I move you to the next level. So we'll chant it slowly at first. We don't have to move our hands around. That's okay. What I'd like you to do is put one hand on your heart center, one hand on your lower abdomen. We're going to ask this mantra to serve us to open our heart center, okay? Because this has to be open before our soul language will come out. There's no way this is going to come out without an open soul language. Thank you, Jyota, for chanting, for writing San San Jolie Bao Wu into your chat. So look for Jyota's chat. You'll see the way it's spelled out, okay? So repeat after me. <clears throat> Dear the soul of the mantra San San Jo. Lu Ba Yao Wu, three three nine six eight one five. I love you, Ani. You appreciate you. You have brought healing to millions of people in the last forty years. You have helped people open their message center and their soul language. Can you please come to sit in my message center and bless me to fully open my message center? And my soul language. So we're not going to do the soul language opening part yet. We're just preparing. Okay. Close your eyes. You don't need to see the words to chant it. I will chant slowly and then a little bit faster. All right. <clears throat> Repeat with me. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 A little bit faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 Now I want you to continue to chat with me with your eyes closed and just really become comfortable with the words. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 
see golden light coming to your message center and see it literally cracking open. This light is getting bigger and brighter and bigger and brighter and it's cracking open your message center. San san jo lu ba ya wu. 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 A little slower so you're comfortable with it. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, wu. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, wu. A little faster. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, wu. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, wu. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, wu. A little faster. San san jo lu ba yao wu. 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 Okay. So open your eyes. Now, I'm going to put this image up to the camera. I'll try to hold it as still as possible. This image is what is happening when you're actually chanting. Okay. What you're seeing is an image of a stick figure, and you're in it, and if you can make it out, it shows you a diagram. San San is in the chest area of the stick figure, 3-3. Three, three. Jo is in the lower abdomen. You see the lines go down to the lower abdomen. Ba, the lines shoot over to the rib cage. San San Jo Lu Ba, and then it shoots back to the navel. San San Jo Lu Ba. Ba, ba is the navel. That's the number eight. San, san, jo, liu, ba. Yao is, shoots up to the head. Shoots up to number one. Wu, it shoots back down to the stomach area. Okay? San, san, jo, liu, ba, yao, wu. Three, three, nine, six, eight, one, five. Lungs, lungs. Lower abdomen. Ribs. Navel. Head, stomach. I'll repeat. Lungs, lungs, lower abdomen, ribs, navel, head, stomach. San San Jolibao. Now, you don't need to know that. You can put it aside now. How do we reveal soul language? We ask it to come out. We chant this mantra in a very special way. Now, when Master Guo was, was using this mantra 40 years ago, he didn't have people to reveal their soul language. People, w they wouldn't understand it. All he did was he had them chant the mantra. If that's all you can do, if you just write down the, the Mandarin Chinese words, and you keep, keep it in your wallet, and you're walking around, you're driving, driving the car, dear the soul of San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Remember, everyone and everything has a soul. That includes this extraordinary healing mantra. I was not kidding when I said I was responsible for bringing healing to millions of people. Okay, it has, it truly has. Master Guo, Master Shah's spiritual father, had a commissary which literally hundreds of thousands of people would come every year. And this is the mantra that they would use along with other things to bring healing to themselves. So it has a long, long history, this mantra does. And so when we chant it, we can ask it to service. So we want to honor it because it's a heaven mantra. Just like Love, Peace and Harmony Soul Song is a heaven mantra, so is this mantra san san joli bayawu so we we speak to it dear the soul of the mantra the sacred mantra san san joli bayawu 3396815 i love you honor you and appreciate you could you please come to heal this is if you're driving the car my uh my shoulders and my neck while i'm driving as i chant you beautiful why not can you please offer a blessing to my child who is stressing out over their exams right now? You can do that. You can use this because it's a spiritual language that deals with things on the spiritual level. It's healing. You just saw an example. There were like seven or eight people who, who had significant results 
just by the soul language and soul song, less than three minutes. That's how potent soul healing is. And that's how potent revealing your soul language is. So now we're going to do our best to try to reveal it. There's roughly half the people on this call, maybe a little bit more, that have already taken these classes and have revealed their soul language. Many of them already moved to becoming a divine healing hands soul healer because they, they appreciate the value of being able to offer healing to their loved ones, their children, their grandma, grandpa, family, and friends, and then other people if, the, if it's needed. And so I would encourage you to have an open mind to receive the divine healing hands as well. If revealing soul language can bring healing, then what do you think divine healing hands can do, right? And so how do we reveal it? We speak it very rapidly. I'll give you an example. Now, obviously, I've done it before. My soul language immediately comes out quickly. The key to a successful release of your soul language is to not get caught up on the mind level about pronunciating each word. That goes to all of you that have to do things correctly okay you just say it quickly those that reveal their soul language quickly are the ones that have no attachment to specific and exact pronunciation they allow the speed of their enunciation to increase to the point of blurring the words the words literally start to blur and as they blur and as they keep speaking as they keep going what will happen is some kind of gibberish will come out of your mouth. It could be la, 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 la. It could be anything. It could be a very high whisper. It could be a very deep sound. It could be da, 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 da. It is completely irrelevant. One of the keys is once it comes out, which it will, you continue to do it. You just watch it. You tell your mind to go on a hiatus, take a vacation, not get involved in discerning what is this, is it crazy? You just do it, okay? That is how you do it. Now, if it's not coming out, it's either because the, uh, you have difficulty speaking these, this uh, tone faster, 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 faster. A lot of that is, again, because of mind blockages, which is why we do message center opening. Have to open the message center before the soul language can come out, okay? So, um, I especially want to hear from those that have no idea what this is and is willing to give it a try. Uh, if it hasn't come out, um, if it has come out. Also, what happens is when people do this, they tend to run out of breath because they go, and they, they raise their shoulders and they're trying to speak it out as fast as they can. Relax. It just calms out if you allow it. All right? Repeat after me. Dear God, all beings of light, dear my soul, please bless me to reveal my soul language to the soul of San San, Zhou Lu, Bai Yao Wu. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. As I chant your mantra, please bless me to reveal my soul language. I am deeply honored and grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear my mind, I love you. I do not need you to analyze right now. I invite you to go on a mental vacation. Dear the soul of my message center, my heart center, you have the ability to fully open and to reveal my soul's language, do a great job. Thank you. And I will turn on one of my treasures to have it go to everybody to assist them with opening their soul language. Give me a moment. Oh, let us begin. San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu. San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu. 
San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Faster San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Faster San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu Faster 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 San San Zhou Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 San San
uh, on the nature, power, and significance of soul language, because this is the first of the four major spiritual channels. When we reveal our soul language, it cracks open a lot of the blockages that have been inside our uh, soul body. And this is the predecessor to being able to hear heaven correctly. So when I offer flows, it's because I went through all of these processes you're in the, in the, in the very kindergarten stage in, but we're moving there. Wonderful, I see some great comments. So please receive this information. To the soul of the soul language channel and revealing of the soul language. I love you and I respect you. Can you please borrow my mouth, offer everybody here a wisdom and teachings on the power and significance of this uh, revealing of this soul's language. Thank you. How? This is the soul of all of your soul language channels. It has been a great joy for me to either open further the channels of those who had revealed theirs already and to assist all those to reconnect to your soul. I say reconnect because that is the nature of what is transpiring here. You hear this one speaking on my behalf. Prior to doing a flow, what does he do? He says things like, hey, ya, yo, ya, yo, ya, hey. What in essence he is doing is clearing his channels so that the information that comes through is untainted. This is but one of the many aspects of reconnecting to your soul. Now that you have done so, and for those that are still practicing, you can ask your soul to give you guidance. You can ask your soul to give you healing. You can ask your soul to continue to open your energy centers, especially your message center. You can ask when you wake up, what is your guidance today? You can offer blessings with your soul language as appropriate. There is truly no end once you have been so blessed to have opened your connection to your soul and its language. I tell you this so that you have the beginnings of the most important understandings of this era that we entered into August 8, 2003. It is called the Soul Light Era. And this is one of the most important keystone facets of this era. Revealing and communicating at the level of soul releases and removes mind and mind interpretation, brings emotion of the heart to all forms of communication, and reconnects us at the level we were originally from. This is just the beginning of this era, and this is just the beginning of the majority of yours awakenings to this wisdom. There is volumes and libraries full of more information to share, but this is what is pertinent for each of you at this time. This is the soul of each of yours soul language channel. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we've got a lot of, a lot of people had some wonderful benefits. So Eleanor, her soul language came out. Congratulations, Eleanor. Angie says, getting closer. She feels like she did. It was fun. It can be fun, huh? Uh, Kathy says, my pitch became much higher. <laughs> yeah, very common. Wonderful. Uh, soul won't speak. It's too powerful for her environment. <laughs> That's a possibility, Sarah. Um, oftentimes, again, it boils back to the message center being open enough. For anybody that um, they, they tend to have quite a bit of emotions, wallow in some of the uh, heavier emotions um, uh, in their mind a lot, 
that tends to be blockages here in the heart center. Recommend a, a sole operation for it. Um, they're only $75. You can open your message center much faster that way. The healing and transmission system, which is quite a bit more on the, on the financial scale, um, has been what has been offered this last five days where you get the transmission center for the heart and for the Lower Dantian and for the Intelligence Center, all three in one package. And that includes uh, the releasing of Shen Qi and Jing blockages, light wall protection. That is, is way powerful. Their, their combination of those three is $300, but you clear so many blockages, just life becomes like somebody turned on a, a thousand watt light bulb in your life. So recommend those if that's something you're interested in. But almost always, if those are cleared, so language comes right out because that's where the blockages are typically in the heart center. Um, sounded like Jodel's, um, wonderful. I don't know what that is, but when you said it, I heard it, so it sounds cool. Thank you, Marina. Uh, Elizabeth, congratulations, hers came out. Carol, hers is open, wonderful. Um, Marina, the mind stopped the flow. Very common response, very common response. I'm gonna come back to that. Kathy says, now she's really hot. Yes, again, a common response and her soul language has changed. Sharon commented on her soul language going through a transformation. Uh, soul language will definitely change over time. Soul language uh, can be interrupted by the mind when we do the practice. <clears throat> it is um, best to continue to practice. We're gonna do it one more time just to make sure everybody's had the best opportunity to open their soul language. Tomorrow we're going to do more of it because we're going to move slowly towards translation. It's, it's, it's definitely brought up a challenge to offer this teaching wisdom and blessings in a one-way structure like this. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I can't hear yours. I can't give you uh, guidance and insights. Uh, but I'm extremely happy that it has come out so easily. Uh, we have to give credit and value to Dr. and Master Shah for this to occur because honestly, when this had first occurred, Master Shah literally took, I, I believe he said weeks before it come out, maybe longer. Um, his students, when he started teaching them 15 years ago, it took them long, 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 long time before it would come out. And so, but nowadays, because of the power that we're working with the level of soul, it's able to come out relatively quickly. And part of it's because I did turn on some of my transmissions specific to uh, helping you with opening your soul language and, and they did so so congratulations on that we want to use soul language to serve everything that we open reveal learn its true purpose is to serve first we have to help ourselves of course but it's not necessarily for um, for the uh, selfishness but if we're debilitated if we have severe pain we need to get better Okay? Now we can use this to assist others. Dear my soul language, dear my soul, I love you and I appreciate you. As I chant my soul language, as I chant love, peace, harmony, can you please bless others that have severe spine pain like me? Of course, as appropriate. Those are your, always your key words, as appropriate. What are you doing? You're serving others. What do you think that's going to do to assist you? Their souls are grateful. Their souls are sending you virtue which of course is going to assist you and release aspects of your pain. So we want to serve others while serving ourselves, uh, and we can do that when we reveal these tools. Okay. So, um, I see Celia, it's wonderful. Thank you for sharing both Kristen and Monica. The soul language and soul language channel have so, I mean, there's literally about, I don't know, about 30 or 40 pages just on this subject and even more throughout the book. For those that truly want to learn more, go get this book, okay? Soul Communication. This goes over all four major channels. It was a flowed book, meaning it was not written by the mind. It was written through flow. This is what it is. This is how it works. This is the power and significance, the purpose of it it will change your world. It will open your eyes in a way that they could never have been opened before. Your soul will sing as you read through the book because as you read it, your heart is opening more and more and more. And the wisdom uh, will, be like, will be like drinking water in a drought. It'll be like the world's best water when you haven't drunk in, in 100 years. It will be that good for your soul because the soul knows when it's come across true teachings, true masters. I bow down to Master Shah. 
the only reason there's even that, that name, that moniker, Master Paul, in front of me is because of the wisdom and teachings of this being. Learn more. Find out more. If you're not familiar with this teaching and wisdom, go to drshaw.com. You can also go to my website uh, to learn more as well. I offer a lot of uh, wisdom and teachings in my videos there on the power and significance of how divine services can assist you to open these channels. So tomorrow we're going to be focusing on <clears throat> um, we're going to be focusing on revealing the uh, connectivity of soul language and what it's going to take to translate soul language. Earlier today I spoke with a student, uh, I mentioned this briefly, that had been receiving some very powerful third eye images but she wasn't sure what to do with it. And in my earlier teachings last week I spoke on the third eye specifically and people make errors when the third eye sees things and they translate it with their mind. Um, so we want to be able to hear Heaven's message that is definitely there whenever we're offered third eye images. And sometimes when we reveal the soul language, uh, uh, the soul language translation, we might only hear one word. We might hear the word I. We might hear the word hope or the word love. We might hear nothing. Okay. In any case, we want to be grateful, first of all, and secondly, say thank you. Because uh, if we hear nothing, great, thank you, nothingness. That's better than my mind chattering. Okay? Gratitude keeps our heart open. Gratitude allows our soul to communicate with us. So when we continue with these practices, then you'll have a greater opportunity. One of the reasons why I'm suggesting going to uh, drshaw.com in terms of the educational aspects is when you go to his website under events, you'll see all the different divine channels worldwide that are offering teaching, wisdom, and blessings. And many of the classes occur on the weekends. Here in Honolulu, we offer uh, uh, classes every weekend. And we're almost always doing an open spiritual channels uh, practicum once a week and then the full weekend we're doing it uh, once a month and so these are ways in which you can every week once a month do something to crack open this energy body so that we can fully connect to the divine the Tao and source um, that's the purpose power and significance of this so I am beyond uh, uh, happy that we've had so many people revealing their soul language. My homework to each of you, offer a blessing to three people. At least one needs to be in person. The other two can be at the soul level. That's fine. But to three people, you can do a pet also. That's okay. Okay. With your soul language. That's your homework. If it hasn't come out, use San San Jolu Bayawu. Okay. If you don't know how it's spelled, scroll back through. You see a few students have given you the spelling and the way it's pronounced. All right. You can also watch again. Um, but that's your homework. Also make note. Don't just offer it. If you're talking to somebody, um, you can try to find three live people. Even better. Say, um, and I'll give you the, the basic structure. Dear the soul of my soul language and San San Jolu Bayawu. I love you. Can you please offer a blessing as appropriate to this person, to this pet? If you're talking to somebody, what is your suffering? What is the number of your suffering? You can do it over the phone. They absolutely do not have to be in person. That's a very good test for you. Do one in person. Talk to a friend over the phone. Okay? Try not to choose something that's too heavy. You know, knee pain, wrist pain, headache, something like that. Better. Chant at least three minutes. Set your timer. Longer is, of course, better. And I want to hear your feedback. Okay, I want to know what was your successes. Why do I want to know? Because for you to go through these steps and to receive the results, it's going to crack open your soul in such a way you'd be like, my God. This is just the beginning of a massive glacier of soul wisdom. I'm telling you, it's the soul light era. There is so much to come that will awaken your soul in its journey. There are so many blessings that you can receive once you start getting these aha moments. My power, uh, my purpose, my intention is to assist you to raise your soul standing so that you can serve others. And this is a step-by-step -step way to accomplish that. I hope that eventually you'll want to become a Divine Healing Hands healer because the world needs a lot of us. 
because we need to be there to serve people uh, with diseases and all kinds of things. Divine's Healing Hands is so, so very special. So this is the end of today's show. I love you all. You're all troopers for coming. Congratulations on opening your soul language. If you haven't, continue to practice. Do your homework and we'll come in tomorrow and you can share with me your homework. Um, for those that are, are just coming on, make sure you watch this. This has been a very, very special live stream. Uh, you have a great opportunity. Make sure you hit the share button after this. If you're new, when I stop, I believe the word follow pops up in the upper right hand corner. That way you'll know when I go live. Um, until tomorrow, we'll see you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you to all the holy beings that came. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.